Hello everyone, this is Debbie Happy Cohen with Joy Based Living and our mission is to help you embody your joy more and more and to take inspired action more and more. So I want to talk with you today about when you're going for your dreams or a big goal or idea or wish and you get stuck. Stuck can look like a lot of different things, but the way that I see this whole idea is that there's like a funnel of light at, or, or a river of water moving through you all the time. And when you take inspired action and you go for things that cause generosity to pour through you for others, uh, that funnel just gets bigger and it's a high. It just feels gorgeous and beautiful. And um, let me tell you about a situation that happened this weekend that was actually kind of funny, but it was like so horrible for the person who was experiencing it in the moment. So one of my clients was, um, she was going to talk to a boss within the company about something that was going on and in her in her childhood in her background one of the beliefs that came up was when you talk to adults they will ignore you when you talk to adults uh, they can't hear you um, it doesn't matter what you do it's it, you're not gonna really get their attention so she had her physical needs met and there was love in the family but there was drama like that and it, it was um, traumatizing for her. So she has been able to create a good life in, in some ways, but then in other ways when it comes to stretching to where the only way to achieve the next level is to ask for support. That's where she stumbled over and over and over and over again and, and had, and just kept like having like, more traumatic things happen in her career to where she was just like, Oh my, I just don't know, you know? So I knew that this phone call was coming up and I knew how important it was for her. And I was waiting to hear back from her about it. So she ended up sharing right after the call. I would call it like a, 20 red lights post. I'm in pain. I was ignored. Uh, I was listened to, but I was given political speak. Um, I feel completely unheard. She was shaken to her core, not because of what he did, but because it triggered a response in her that hadn't been disarmed, that hadn't been healed it triggered trauma in her. So rather than feeling annoyed, she felt almost devastated. So I wrote back and said, do you want me to give you a call? And she said, yes, now please. <laughs> so we got on the phone and, um, the first words out of my mouth were, you're not alone. 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 I spent the next, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, taking her off the ledge, helping her see that there are people within her company, which is a very good company, that are very supportive, that are in power, that are present, that care. We looked at a few different ways to look at the experience and the situation, and the guy wasn't mean. He just said, here's how I can be there for you. Here's how I, you know, th this is what I can do very politician like, um, I said, now, you know what you can expect from him. Um, and she was clear about, okay, now I can put my energy going forward and focus on, on my people. And, um, so we were getting to the end of our conversation and I said to her, what's your takeaway? from this? What are you going to take away? What are you going to go forward with? And she goes, well, 
I'm just going to have to figure things out for myself. And I, I, I don't know if I burst out laughing, but I know, I know that I, I wanted to because that's what happens when people feel traumatized. And, and I was like, no, 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 no. I said, do you remember the first words I told you on this call? And she's like, what? No, I don't remember. She literally didn't remember. And, and, uh, and I reminded her, you're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone, alone. And she's like, okay, okay, okay. I said, it's, it's really important because the way to thrive is going to be from recognizing how true it is and giving yourself repeated evidence that there are people who are really, truly supporting you. And, and that's going to make you a better, uh, a better leader because then the people that you lead are going to you're not going to transfer the problem downward. Um, so I think she got it. The next day she was doing a lot, a lot, a lot better. But I, I'm sharing this story with you because sometimes we beat ourselves up for how long it takes to heal some very old core beliefs because the decision of I'm alone, I'm in this myself, I need to figure it out myself has been in her life and filtering her worldview for many, 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 many years. So for us to be able to laugh about it and look at it and go, okay, okay, I'm going to keep reaching out because the truth of the matter is, is inspired action requires risk taking. And I only work with people who are willing to take risks on their own behalf, who are willing to fight for themselves and for their dreams and for the things that they value the most. And when, when people do that, they bump up against the edge of their own making. And that's what gets melted. And that is what creates the freedom. Because we live in a pretty free society in many ways. So the prison bars and the walls that most of us are living in when we're stuck are the prison bars of our own making. So I hope this has helped you to have some more clarity, have some more awareness, and have some more compassion for yourself. And maybe say, man, if that's what that person experienced, okay, I'm not alone in this myself. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. Thank you so very much for being here and for making the time for yourself to take inspired action and empower and embody your joy. Bye for now.